I started off in the city of Makivka, which is really just a small town right outside Donetsk. And Donetsk is one of the bigger cities. Obviously, that was the mission capital. And that's a very big city, very big industry, a lot of factories and a lot of mines for sure. Mining is like one of the biggest jobs there. And in Makivka, especially the town that I served in outside it, that is like where tons and tons of miners live. You'd meet people there that would say, oh, my great grandpa was a miner, my grandpa was a miner, my dad was a miner. Funny enough, I wasn't actually there, but one of my companions, he also served in the same district in Makevka. And at the time they were teaching an investigator who was obsessed with the Oakland Raiders. You know, American football is not big out there at all. Um, everybody plays soccer just like any other place in Europe. But he, his dream was to be a football player for the Raiders. And he's like in his 40s, so he's like too old at this point. And these missionaries are teaching him a lesson and they're asking him about like what he likes to do and everything. He says, you know, I love American football. My dream is to play for the Raiders. Um, and here he gives them this DVD video he'd made of him, <laughs> of him like carrying this log, just sprinting 200 meters with this log. And then he would like stop, switch it to the other shoulder and just keep running with it. He wanted them to give it to the coach of the Raiders to, so he could get on the team. And they're like, you know, I don't think this is going to work. You know, first off, I don't even know the coach of the Raiders. Um, and you're kind of just too old to play for them. And he's like, no, my great grandpa was a minor. My grandpa was a minor. And my dad was a minor. And this missionary says, well, it sounds like you should be a minor then. And he says, no, I have made my choice. I'm going to play American football. It might have been the wrong choice, but I made my choice and I'm going to stick with it. I want to play American football. <laughs> so he wasn't particularly ordinary, but it just shows, I mean, mining was the big thing there, and he did not want to, and I guess, follow in that footsteps there. Um, but that is, especially in Donetsk, that was a very common job down there. My apartment that I was in in Mikhevka before, which is right by Donetsk, was honestly one of the worst apartments in the mission. I didn't realize it at the time, but once I moved around, I realized that really was like one of the worst apartments in the mission. Like, I didn't have it was better to use a bucket to take a shower because the water pressure was terrible. Uh, you couldn't flush the toilet paper. The oven didn't work. The floor tile was just coming off and there would just be cement under there. And in the summertime, we'd get bats in the apartment. Like you left the window open. We were like literally coming to see bats flying around at night. We're like, what the heck? Why are there bats in our apartment? We even lost power sometimes just in the middle of the night. And when we would lose power, um, so the thing was, since we were on the fifth floor, it got really hot in the summer. I mean, normally people think of Ukraine as a cold country, but it got pretty hot in the summer as well. So we'd leave the windows wide open. And the mosquitoes would come in and they'd eat you alive at night. So we bought this little uh, mosquito repellent. You'd plug it into the wall outlet and they'd repel the mosquitoes and it worked great. But our apartment would lose power so often and so unexpectedly. So in the middle of the night, one time, the, it, the power shuts off. And me and my companion wake up, we're just getting eaten alive, eaten alive by mosquitoes. And you would, it was just torture. You'd like put the sheets over your face and you'd hear the mosquitoes outside the sheets, like waiting to come for you. And it was just, you're just sweating. It's so hot underneath the blanket. You take it off and they come attack you again. And it's just like one of the worst nights ever. So what I did was I hopped into the bathtub, closed the bathroom door. So there's no windows, no mosquito access. And I sleep in the bathtub. My companion, he pulls out the like stakes from his bed, like the little like knob on each of the corners, and he like puts his blanket under it and like hammers it back down. So he's like a little, he's under this little fort that he's made that the mosquitoes can't come through. And he's just, it's better than he has some ventilation because there's like a little bit of holes, but he's still just burning under there. And we had such a horrible night. The next morning there was a branch picnic at like 9 a.m. and we had such a bad night. We would just wake up. And it's like 8.45. We'd slept in over two hours. And we're like, dude, the picnic. So we had to just rush on our clothes and run to that after having like the worst sleepless night with mosquitoes ever. <laughs>